Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Two-step equations. We're going to continue on with some word problem applications. So the challenge is to be able to read the uh, word problem and write an equation and solve. Here we go. All right, we're gonna take a look at all of these. I'll do that first one together with you, number 13, and then I would like you to hit pause on this video and try the rest. On Tuesday, Jack bought 10 posters. So I'm gonna highlight that information so far. On Wednesday, half of all the posters that he had were destroyed. On Thursday there were only 21 left. How many did he have on Monday? Alright, so focusing on the last part there, we have to assign a variable. I'm going to say M, capital M, stands for how many posters he had to start with on Monday. So now we read the problem and let's kind of add in the equation. So we start with M, posters on Monday, and he bought 10 posters. Well, we're just going to add 10 to that, right? 10 additional posters. On Wednesday, half of all the posters he had, so half of all of this, were destroyed. On Thursday, there were 21. All right, so after half were destroyed, we end up with 21. So now we have a two-step equation. In a previous video, these two-step equations where you have one side being divided by a number, that two is considered a free number. So you get rid of that first. You want to multiply. That's the opposite of this division, right? So we're going to multiply both sides by two. Now we have m plus 10 equals 42. We are going to subtract 10, of course, to get our final answer. And that would be... 32. All right, M. Number of posters he had on Monday, 32. All right, if you think you know what to do, you want to give these a shot, click on pause. Number 14. On Tuesday, Scott bought nine hats. On Wednesday, half of all the hats he had were destroyed. On Thursday there were 15 left. How many did he have on Monday? Exact same type of question, right? Do you know what the equation would be? All right. Monday's hats added to 9 cuz he bought 9 additional and then half of all of that. That represents the 15 he has left. Multiply both sides by the free number of 2. So m plus 9 equals 30. And then we subtract 9 from each side to get our answer of 21. So Scott started with 21 hats on Monday. All right. Let's look at 15 and 16. I'm going to show the answers and let's work backwards here to figure out how those answers were gotten. The cooking club made some pies. So first of all, we start with the pies the cooking club made to sell to a basketball game, raise money for new math books. The cafeteria contributed four pies to the sale. Each pie was then cut into seven pieces and sold. There were a total of 70 pieces to sell. All right, what are we going to do with this? How many pies did the club make? We're going to have the number of pies the club made. First of all, we'll call that P. So we're going to start with that number of pies, P. We're going to add four to that from the cafeteria donating the pies. And that's the total number of pies we have. Now each pie is cut into seven pieces, so we have to multiply that by seven. And that represents the total number of pieces, which is 70. All right, so it's showing a multiplication um, concept. Obviously, we have to divide each side by seven 
In most cases, we see a distributive property situation like this, but no, let's go ahead and divide the seven first. It simplifies very quickly to p plus four equals 10. And obviously the number of pi's must be six, as it says in the red there. Okay, so we'd have to divide that multiplier term on the outside first. 16, Leah had some paper with which to make note cards. On her way to her room, she found five more pieces. In her room, she cut each piece of paper in half. When she was done, she had 30 half pieces of paper. How many sheets did she start with? So how many with how many sheets of paper did she start? Let's call that P. Now we could even call it L for Leah or S for, you know, sheets. But it doesn't matter. It gives us a starting point. So she starts with some paper, P, number of full sheets, and she found five more. So yes, we're going to add five more to that. Now actually, it's going to be a multiplication there. Number of sheets, sorry for the mistake there. Number of sheets, each sheet gives us two. So we're going to be multiplying that by two. And then that is going to give us 30 altogether. So we're going to divide each side by 2, and p plus 5 is going to give us 15. And therefore, of course, by subtraction, we know the answer is 10. So she starts with 10 sheets of paper. She gets 5 more. We divide each of those in half, so that gives us 30 pieces. All right, these are two-step equations, so I hope you did well with this. I hope this video helped. And stay tuned for more videos. We're going to get into some multi step equations. Thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard, 